Approximately four months back when I was struggling with my health and disappointed with the progress of my YouTube channel, I created a video saying that I am taking a break from coding because creating coding videos takes a lot of time and my near and dear ones are asking me to reconsider my presence on YouTube. So I thought that let's take it lightly and then I will see how it goes. So in the last four months, I went through my knee surgery. I was on bed for a very long time. Now I am able to walk and I am trying to build my strength bit by bit. And I was actually thinking about my decision and I came to a conclusion that if I do not talk about coding in my YouTube channel, then it is going to be a loss for me because I will not be able to share what I learned in the last 22 odd years. It will be a loss for most of the people who are my subscribers and the people who are going to be my subscribers in the future. Because you know, there will be a handful of people who are actually coding for more than 22 odd years and intended to continue doing so. You can go to any company you like, barring few exceptions, you will not find people in software development you know, who have worked for more than 20 odd years or so and are there willingly and willingly continue to pursue the same path. I have learned a lot in past 22 years and even in the presence of things like chat GPT, I still have lots of valuable things to share. And that's the reason I thought that, you know, let me break this break. I will start, you know, continue to create some coding software development videos, but there is a slight change. I'm not going to do that exclusively because as I have said in multiple previous videos that there is a life beyond coding. There is an understanding you need to be aware of beyond actually writing code, actually understanding how to create a function, how to create a variable class and so on and so forth. So here is how I want to proceed. Along with software engineering, I want to concentrate more on product engineering. I am doing so because I realized that after doing software development for such a long time, I can contribute effectively and efficiently in product engineering because most of the people who are involved in product engineering, it's not a good thing, but they are more and more disconnected from the ground, how technology has improved, how way of working has improved, how way of creating software has improved. Knowing about software doesn't only mean knowing object-oriented programming. It's just went too much beyond that. And if you know about all those things, you will be in a better position to do product engineering. Okay, so my focus will remain in product engineering. I will talk about software engineering in context of product engineering. And let me tell you that I was actually missing on my coding stuff and I wanted to get back to it as soon as possible. I hope my decision will be helpful for me as well as for the people who are looking into my videos. And also, you know, I will create videos on the things I am working in daily life, in tech life and other things when I go around some places and I feel that it's something I should talk to you about. I'm not going to restrict it to only one thing. So I'll start in some time and I would like to thank all of you to be there. Thank you all. Really, thanks for watching my videos. We will meet again until the next time we meet. Good day, goodbye. You take care. Namaste.